Welcome to the Hunter Report, and today we're gonna look into the future at laser projection keyboards. I've got three of the top models. We're gonna put them through the paces. We're gonna see if these things are worth what I paid for, um, or if they are ahead of their time. Thank you so much. Please subscribe. Please give me thumbs up. All right, let's do some science. We are here with the CTX, and um, it didn't um, it properly pair with my, my Samsung Nexus. This is an old Android phone, and the manual says that um, it, it does Android 4.0 or above. Uh, it did now. I'm shooting right now on a uh, better Nexus. Uh, and, and the reason I'm not showing you is because I, I don't have another camera. This is my best camera. So please subscribe so I can go buy that Bo GoPro and then, uh, but, but it did pair to uh, my, my existing um, current phone. So um, I'm gonna demonstrate the functionality paired with my Mac. And let me just, uh, the pairing process is pretty simple, Bluetooth pairing. Let's type this is great. This is great. I am, oops, Sam, no. I am, have, have. All right, this is just, so there's a sensitivity issue here. Let's, um, it's way too sensitive. Let's go into menu mode here by hitting function. M. We are in menu mode, take my word for it. And we're gonna use the arrows here. There's nail paint, normal, and highlights. We're in highlight. Uh, having a great, all right, yeah, that's better. So it needed a little sensitivity adjustment. Um, let's just do a little more testing um, to make sure that I'm not just imagining this. Um, I, and let's put that normal into some quotation marks because that's how I like to type normal um, that's what I want to say normal keyboard not a keyboard just a normal keyboard keyboard keep all right autocorrect I don't even like autocorrect um, um, so I didn't put those zeros in there so that sensitivity is just weird okay so um there you have it. Let's just show you what mouse mode's all about. You hit these two keys down here, and let's, uh, we're in mouse mode now. You can uh, see the mouse, it's on the guy's face. See, look, I'm doing zoom with my left hand on the Mac keyboard, and I'm getting nice uh, pinch. Claims to do pinch gestures, um, right? You see, uh, zoom in, zoom out. I'm just not, maybe, all right, so I tried it on my Android, didn't work. Tried it on the Mac, didn't work. Maybe I gotta try it on an iOS device. I don't have one at the moment, and so, uh, but still, like, I'm just not inspired enough. You know, the, the, the typing experience, you can you, verify that on, on a regular computer. It, it, it annoyed me enough, um, so I'm done with this. Goodbye, go back from whence you came, device. All right, so first off, uh, notice of how to pair with Bluetooth. So, there it is. Hold uh, FNB, device become pairing status after beep, then shut down restart. Oh, there's a great English here. Uh, it can be researched by the other host. Okay, uh, I'll just assume that means um, discovered or paired. All right, got some beep. Oh yeah, I see the Bluetooth light. Does not have a mouse. And I'm done, that's it. That's all I wanna talk about, goodbye. Oh yeah, and the charger is like USB mini. Um, so, if you want something with a nice little laser box in it to disassemble, you know, maybe. Uh, but you could probably buy a laser cheaper to tinker around with. All right, so the final is this epic thing. Wouldn't pair with my Mac. Uh, it paired with this, but it didn't type. It, the, the, the only thing it would pair with is my, my phone, 
and um, the typing just wasn't wasn't that good. It, just not worth showing. So um, that's it. So guys, the results are in. There's something in technology where Steve Jobs said, it's not about what the engineers can do. Let's not put a bunch of extremely high paid and intelligent engineers in a room, see what they can do and then try and sell it. That's what this is. This, these are a hundred bucks a piece. It's almost there. But that's the difference between, you know, low technology and Apple. I'm sure, I have no doubt that Apple is messing around with exactly this technology. But just like me, um, or maybe even by watching this very video of me, they will see that um, th there is so much work that needs to be done. All right, so here's what I find fault with. Number one, okay, this is a keyboard. Keyboards only need to do one single thing well, type, okay? This was not accurate. I played with all the accuracy settings. It's errors were still happening. So it's not, it's not a keyboard. What this is, is a fancy laser with a fancy sensor that picks up your keystrokes about 5% of the times. So it's more of a hassle than a tool. These are going back, these are being returned. Um, you know, I'm, I, I get it, right? But go back to the drawing board. Now, for those of you out there in the universe, you know, who have a technologically oriented mind, you know, those young entrepreneurs, those young high school students, all around the globe, in any country, not just the United States. If, if you're messing around with technology, um, make this more accurate, you know? Get the sensors working better and, and get it to type just a little bit faster. Um, and another thing you might want to do is put an API, which stands for Application Programmers Interface, and it allows developers to do whatever they want with the laser. So if you want to t turn this little device into like a laser piano or a laser game, you should have the ability to do that. That's the real win with a product like this. Hey, I'm putting that idea out there. Just remember that Uncle Hunter at the Hunter Report, at Hunter P at Twitter, uh, told you. And, and remember that. Uh, and invite me uh, to your conference and, and give me a pat on the back, please. Thank you so much. Please subscribe. Please give me thumbs up. I do lots of other videos on other cool products, cooking, uh, and check out these videos. Buy cool stuff, buy stuff that works, buy stuff that's built to last and be happy. See you next time.